Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Tuesday afternoon here in the Eastern Time Zone of the USA. It's time for Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff. I'm Tim K3LR, and along with me today is my partner, Jeff, KB8ZWT. How are you, Jeff? I'm good, Tim. How are you today? Good, good. Jeff, you know, one thing I have noticed, the solar flux is finally at 80. Yes. For so long, it was 69, 70, yep. 71. But there are sunspots. Yes, there are. And these sunspots are from the new Cycle 25. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty jazzed up about it because that means the HF fans will come alive even more. Yeah. And if you have a vertical for an antenna like you do, you have yep. one of our premier butternut verticals, yep. um, it's going to work better, yep. you know, because propagation is going to be better. And the K index is down to one today. So I'm thinking this is a good day for 20 meters and 40 meters yep. and maybe even 15 meters, especially trans equatorial. We might see some good openings into South America, but you got to stay tuned to the bands because they are oh, getting yeah. better. Yes. Yeah. And that is I'm exciting right now. And speaking of getting better, you know, over the weekend um, on Saturday, it was the Ohio NVIS day where lots of stations set up portable installations for working the near vertical incident sky wave. Right. And, uh, you know, we had talked about that here with some NVIS ideas, but uh, there was a lot of activity and a lot of people I think went out to their field day location right and kind of tested that out because we were shut out of everything last year and uh, as good as activity was in field day last year I think it's even going to be better this year I because think so too there'll be a lot of stations that are out because they've got the vaccine and people are feeling better about being outside and when you're thinking about field day and these times when everything sells out fast. And in fact, Lance uh, says, I wish I had an ICOM 7300. Well, guess what? <laughs> guess what, Lance? If you want a 7300, my suggestion is you get it now because it is going to be tough. Um, we don't know when the next shipment will come in of the 7300. And that is such a popular radio. Yeah. Um, and it really is important if you want to have, um, you know, coax or you want to have a radio like a 7300, um, you got to get it early because yeah. uh, the shortages, you know, Jeff, I know you, you have, uh, we have customers that put stuff in their wish list or in their cart and then they yes. wait overnight or two nights. It's gone. They come back and then it's out of stock. Right. And, you know, I just, uh, I hate when that happens, but you know, when you're using an IC7300 on field day, that's, that's a great radio, but you really need to make sure you have band pass filters. Yes. Okay? And here's, here's one from, uh, that we sell from low band systems. And you know what I like? This is the 200 watt filter. It's got nice connectors on it and everything and uh, very well made. RA6LBS makes this, the low band systems. This is the one for 1 1.8 megahertz. And this is what comes with it, Jeff, is the, uh, the bandpass filter uh, test results. So oh. it, it shows just exactly the, the pass band. Uh, then you can see the SWR over here. Uh, and then this is a, a close up of the pass band uh, of 160 meters. But I'm going to show you my screen here. We um, uh, want to show the uh, how this looks on the website. And let me know when you see that, Jeff. Um, here, it's coming up now. There we go. See it now? Yeah, this yep. is the this is the one of the more popular ones. This is for 20 meters, Jeff, and uh, bandpass filter from low band systems. And you can transmit and receive through it uh, up to 200 watts, so it's perfect for field day. And uh, you know, if you if you take a look at it here on our 360 view, you can see just how nice of a filter 
uh, this is. It's just beautiful. Right. Um, and uh, so nice photos of it. Um, the low band systems and, and let's take a look at uh, for 20 meters. We have here, uh, if you look down, scroll down, there are two reviews and uh, it says uh, we use this filter during field day events and it keeps our closely located 20 and 40 meter stations from interfering with each other. It works like a charm. And then uh, here's another one. It says great filter, but what's really outstanding is that even with everything that's going on, DX Engineering has maintained its uh, usual excellent service. Thanks, Tim, and all your colleagues. That's from W4NNF. Yeah. So really, uh, it, these are very important for making sure that you, uh, you know, you give you give a uh, the radio a, a chance to not be overloaded by nearby transmitters. And in the documentation tab here, you can see the bandpass uh, and the attenuation, uh, showing that the uh, 40 and 80 meter bands are attenuated, and then 15 and 10 meters are attenuated, and then this is 20 meters in the pass band. This is the SWR uh, on 20 meters. And every one of these boxes are checked, and it has its own sheet on the, uh, the specs for that particular filter. So that is really, really good. And, um, you know, you just you want to make sure that you have these filters ahead of time, because once it comes time for field day, Jeff, that, and then it's too late. Right. Absolutely. Hey, Jeff, if you're looking to take a road trip, Here's the uh, Ripley Ham Fest. Uh, this is going to be this Sunday, May 2nd. And uh, you can get more information by emailing fred1n2lxd at gmail.com. But uh, admissions, three bucks. Tables are two dollars. That's just up in Ripley, New York, right across the Pennsylvania, New York border. Yep. And um, here's the other thing. How Jeff, I don't know if you've uh, have you had any experience with open box? Oh yes, I have. My uh, my seventy two hundred that I have here was an open box deal. Look at this. Put in the search box at dxengineering.com, open box, and then it returns this, and it says, "Oh, okay." So we go down here, and there's an IC ninety seven hundred, and it's open box, yeah. so it's got a good discount on it. Um, what else do we have here in the open box? These are these are items that uh, may have been returned to us um, or because the, the customer changed his mind or for some reason the box has been opened. Here's another one. Here's the ICOM AH4 antenna tuner. Yep. And this uh, this is a nice tuner. It's automatic, 80 through 6 meters, 120 watts. And open box, $275. So there's a lot of things here. Let's take a look at this Olinko. Here's another, here's a Olinko DJVX50T dual band handheld for $89, Jeff. That's a, wow. That's a great deal. That is. So, uh, check out open box. Just put open box in the search and uh, see if you, you can find a good deal on an open box at DX Engineering. And, you know, there's always stuff in hot deals, too. I know uh, we're loading stuff into hot deals every day. Uh, so you can uh, get uh, the latest deals and rebates in hot deals. And then if you want to know what's new, here it is. Yep, there it is. Here's uh, uh, ICOM antenna tuners, some new Samlex power supplies, and uh, all sorts of new stuff. Uh, in here as well. So uh, this is great. Oh, here's the field day stuff uh, from the ARRL. So lots of good things uh, there as well. So um, you you want to you got to go to the the um, website just about every day, Jeff. Oh, you do. Just to check everything out. Let's see um, see who's on with us here today. And uh, let's see, EL2BG is watching from Florida. And Alaska, Kilo Lima, Four Sugar X-Ray is on. You ever been to Alaska, Jeff? No, I have not. I got relatives who live in Alaska. I'd like to visit sometime. Yeah. Yeah, Whiskey Julia 3 United is on with us. 
and Kilo Charlie 7 Charlie Uniform Echo. And look, Ed, uh, Kilo Oscar 4 Lima Kilo Kilo, he got his 7100 yesterday. Awesome. Good so deal. He, he's a happy guy. And um, let's see, Brian W7JET, our pilot, he said uh, they had a Zoom planning meeting last night for field day in Arizona. So uh, that's the Superstition ARC. And uh, let's see, Mark uh, N4BCD says, Tim, your new 75 meter NVIS antenna gives you the loudest signal here in southern middle Tennessee. Should be great for the North American QSO party. So thank you, Mark. Uh, looks like uh, all the parts from DX Engineering are working fine. And uh, let's see, Lance says, uh, just don't have the money, three kiddos and a stay at home dad. Well, <laughs> um, that, we understand. That, you, gotta, you gotta take care of your priorities first and we know in time you will be able to get one. Uh, Whiskey 8 Victor India Papa, Echo Alpha 7, Charlie Victor Fox from Spain, and uh, Rob in the spaceship, Mike Zero Kilo Papa Delta from uh, England, says, good afternoon, guys. My 7300 sits right here in my mobile, um, only because the FTDX 5000 needs uh, <laughs> is uh, AC mains and uh, hello to Mike Kilo Echo 3 Juliet Papa and Raphael Raphael uh, Sugar Queen 6 Echo Lima Victor from Poland and uh, Don says once the reverse mortgage is finalized I will be heading to DXE for major shack upgrades all right <laughs> and uh, Kilo 2 Charlie Sierra X-ray and uh, Sean Kilo Kilo 9 United. How much better are these filters than coax stub filters? Well, they're anywhere between 30 and 50 dB better. So um, I, I used uh, coax stubs for a long time. And uh, but these filters are really good. So uh, they are better than the coax stubs. And uh, WD8 November, Victor November. And uh, Lance says, thanks for the open box info. Yeah, Lance, every once in a while, a 7300 is going to come into open box. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, um, and the thing is, is when they go in, Jeff, sometimes they don't even last an hour. No, we had some a couple of weeks ago and they were gone that day. Yeah, so it's uh, and it's really a good deal because we've checked the, the open box out mm -hmm. to make sure it's good. But it might, you know, it might be uh, um, it, it was just opened up and plugged in once, that kind of right. thing. Um, let's see. Hey, folks, question. I live less than a mile away from a one kilowatt AM radio station. Wiped out everything below 10 meters. Do you all have an AM band filter or something that would work? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Yes, we do. And um, so let's... Uh, I'm going to show you the, the filter that I really like for doing that work. And Jeff, let me know when you see mm -hmm. the screen. Yep, it's up. Okay, this is the DLW Associates AM Broadcast Band Brick Wall High Pass Filter. Man, does this thing work. Oh, my gosh. This is really good. This is, um, look Look at these uh, reviews here. This thing is awesome. My house is located within a mile of WLW, 50 kilowatts. And um, now I can see signals on my waterfall instead of noise. What a difference. So really good success with this filter. This is a brick wall AM broadcast filter. You can transmit through it. And uh, it's what I use. And I've got a, a kilowatt uh, AM station about two miles away. So this should do the trick for you. The DLW AM broadcast band brick wall high pass filter. And uh, so what else do we got here? We got uh, Aaron. Is there an open box on the ICOM ID 52? You got to you got to check. You got to check um, any news on the ID 52. Uh, no, sorry. Um, 
as soon as we get news, we're going to have it all over the place because yes. Aaron, you, you and lots of other guys are asking. Yeah. And uh, Tom, A92 Golf Whiskey says, received my latest order, was slated for June. See, that's the way this works, Jeff. Yep. You know, you never know. You know, we, we try to forecast what are accurate dates. And sometimes we push them out there because that's what the manufacturer told us. Right. And then, then it shows up. Right. And then sometimes when we forecast that date that's out there in June, it gets pushed to July or August. Right. So it these times. Yeah, there's no control over it. We can't help it. It, it really isn't. And so uh, Kilo Golf 5 Zulu Mike Quebec says, my XYL says, I need a hot deal. <laughs> well, <laughs> you've come to the right place. And uh, tall guy is on. Uh, Jeff, K3STL, nice to have you on, John, from Pittsburgh. Mike India 5, Juliet Yankee Kilo from Northern Ireland. And Dwight, Kilo 4, Yankee Japan is on. And uh, Dino says he wishes he was back in Alaska. Uh, Whiskey, Dooley, uh, Whiskey Delta 8, Juliet Mike, Kilo Oscar 4, Mike Whiskey Delta. Anthony says, um, this is... Uh, he says, hey, Tim, missed you on 10 last night. They were talking about you. Well, we didn't have that sporadic E. I checked, Anthony. I was hoping to uh, make it again, but it'll be back. You know, it's not going to be there every um, every week, but it will come back, and we'll, we'll have a couple of shots, uh, Anthony, here before it's all done. And uh, Daniel says the 9700 is only 50 less than new. Well... It's uh, that's fifty dollars that you save, and um, I do believe it will go fast. And uh, let's see, here's our friend uh, Scotty, Whiskey Kilo Three November. He's wide awake. He never sleeps and uh, loves his DX. And uh, so we have uh, from the Philippines, Delta Uniform One Victor Golf X Ray. Rawl is on with us, and Ray. Kilo 8 Delta Radio Tango is here. And um, let's see. Brian says uh, his Bev Flex is currently an EWE configuration. He might change it to a BOG. And uh, here our friend Jim Cessna, Kilo Bravo 8 November. He says, I'm not afraid of an open box at all. Jim, I know you. And I know that you've never met an open box you didn't like. That's right. <laughs> Jimmy can't wait to get back on the flea market circuit. Kilo yeah. Yankee 4 Radio Oscar Delta. I got my 7300 and my Chameleon MCOM last week from DX Engineering. Great service from you guys, and I'm really enjoying the purchase. Rod, thanks very much for your business. Uh, Jeff, did you happen to talk to Rod, or he just uh, I, ordered it I over think, the web, do you think? I'm not sure. I think I might have talked. I know I sold a 7300 at Ecom. Uh, last week so it might have been him and let us know how that works for you um i i like the chameleon antennas i got the mcom uh, two at my house i use also and so um we got uh, tara on from ontario victor alpha three echo bravo mike and craig says i hate to admit it but i'm sitting on a 7300 since last year waiting for retirement and shack rearrange any shack pictures available <laughs> Well, there's lots of shack pictures all over the place. Just just type in IC7300 and you'll see uh, lots of them. Zulu30 yeah. Alpha is on. Johnny says, November 5, Uncle Tang, Uniform Tango Charlie says, I just received delivery of the 7300 and 9700. Just waiting for the Comtech uh, 20VA. It's a flu block, few blocks away. Thanks very much and stay safe. Nice to have you on, Johnny. And uh, Ray, Kilo 8 Delta Radio Tango says the 7300 is next on my list. I love the 705 and keeping the user interface consistent can only make my life easier. And you know, that was true even between the 7200 and the 7300, right, Jeff? Absolutely, absolutely, yep. And uh, Kilo Golf 4 India Golf Charlie says, wanting to build an SO2R station, can you explain what filters each rig should have. In other words, does each rig need to have the same filters? And if you want to be able to operate two radios at the same time, 
yes, each rig needs to have uh, its own set of filters. So you can operate 20 meters with one, 40 meters with the other, but you have two RF chains. So uh, Frank, you can always call in and uh, talk to Rod, Kate RR. He'll, yeah. uh, he'll give you some information. And Rod and I do a lot of corresponding too. Make sure you get hooked up right. Doug's on, November 7, Bravo, Victor, Tango. And uh, uh, Guy, Kilo 5, Tango, Golf, Sierra's on during his lunch break. You might uh, talk to Guy if you call into DX Engineering. He'll help you. And uh, Red says, I've purchased several 2-meter bandpass filters for HTs. Why would a manufacturer make a 2-meter filter that only allows 1 watt output? Well, for low power HT, I guess, or receive only applications. But um, yeah, be, make sure that you look at the power limitation. Right. And Lance says, is the majority of production problems from chip manufacturing plant in Japan that burned up? Well, that's one issue. The other issue is uh, having enough people to make the stuff that aren't out on COVID. Then when it gets shipped over, having people to unload the ships and, uh, you know, it's all along the way, Lance, and it's not just amateur radio equipment. It's uh, washers and dryers and TV sets and computers and, and, and cars, Jeff, you were, you were talking about, you know, your dealer, a local, local car dealership here, 26 cars, new cars on the lot. That's it. And you, normally they have how many? 500 to a thousand. There you go. Um, let's see. We got uh, Paolo on from Italy, India Kilo 2, Quebec, Papa Radio, November 9, Queen Charlie Lima, and uh, Kilo Echo 9, Bravo Victor. And uh, let's see here. We also have from Curacao. It's our good friend Jeff, Papa Japan 2, November Delta, stroke Kilo 8, November Delta. That's that's a heck of a place to be stuck on, Jeff. Curse yeah. up down there in the Caribbean. That'd be nice. And, uh, Sugar Uniform 3 Mike Bravo. Wow. Now that's some DX, uh, Jeff. That's Egypt. Yeah. And uh, Mohammed, we'd like to work you. That's Zone 34. Definitely, yes. Uh, Keith, uh, hi. I bought a quarter wave 80 meter from you guys and had it shipped to the UK. Works great. Well engineered. Thank you so much for your business, Keith. And uh, Whiskey 7 Hotel United. And he says the 7300 is the best radio. And uh, let's see. Daniel says, how's the aluminum antenna shortage like the R9? Well, of course, that comes to us uh, via Cushcraft, which is made by the MFJ gang. And uh, they've got uh, their struggles, too. Yeah. Uh, we do have a lot of um, aluminum tubing in stock, though. If you want to build your own antenna, we're in good shape. Kilo Echo 6, Papa Lima Alpha, Kilo 9 Alpha Whiskey Mike. And um, let's see. Samuel Morse was born 27 April 1791, 230 years ago today. Mm, today wow. is there for Morse Code Day. Boy, I yep. like that. You know, Jeff, that's my first language is Morse code. Yeah, you and BBQ, I think. Yeah. Mark, yeah. Mark uh, Mark loves the code, too, and I'm on CW every day, at least twice a day. And uh, Dino says, uh, Tim, do you recommend adding pinning to commercial Yagi antennas as you've done with your homebrew Yagis? Well, of course. I'm a big pin guy. Uh, you know, you got to keep those, uh, those joints solid. Yeah. Got to keep uh, all the aluminum together. Well, Jeff, listen, I'm standing between you and lunch. Yes. We've got a manufacturer showcase coming up on Thursday. Um, don't forget, if you haven't signed up for Contest University, go to contestuniversity.com, sign up. We're going to give away four radios at Contest University and also sign up for Hamvention Forums. Yep. That'll be on Friday, May 21st, and we're going to give four more ICOM radios away there. That's eight radios in two days, Jeff. That's amazing. <laughs> could be, I, I need could to sign be, up. Yeah, it could be your lucky number. Go to contestuniversity.com for all the information. Well, Jeff, thanks very much for being here. And thanks Thank to you. all of you for watching. Hope you had a good time. Maybe you learned something.
Come back and see us on Thursday. We'll be on at 2.30 Eastern Daylight Time, and that is 18.30 Zulu. So hope to see you then for the Manufacturer's Showcase. Until then, 73 from DX Engineering.